KQB FM, Pittsburgh. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia on the Cheap Seats Network. My name is Chase Brown, and I'm here on the desk today with Max. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Chase. I'm thrilled to have the pressures of competing away from me and able to enjoy being on this side of the competition. Uh, really excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you. And I, I, I understand that that pressure of being on the competitive side. I've competed myself a couple of weeks ago for the first time, and I definitely get it. But uh, today, you're going to have the opportunity to co-host this with me, to be on the commentary desk. And we've got a special one today. We've got our first ever triple threat match for the Cheap Seats movie trivia. Max, we're growing. We're doing new things over here. What are you, what are you thinking about it all? I think it's great. You know, I think a, a triple threat match, but all the records are still going into the singles competition. I think it's a chance for somebody to really up their game here tonight. And uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, and we've got three hungry competitors here. These are competitors that we haven't seen in the Cheap Seats movie trivia in singles competition in many months at this point. Now, I'll talk about who is coming back. We have Evan Boffman, who's not on the desk with me today, he is going to be competing. Now, Evan has competed in some ultimate fan matches, but he's 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 0-2 in singles right now. He has competed in quite some time, and I'm sure he's ready to come back here and, and get things done. And I think what I can say for Evan, what he lacks in his department of winning, he really makes up for in just his good losing attitude. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how well he does. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. And also with a, a good losing attitude is Brian Menser. Brian mm -hmm. Menser, who's also making a comeback here. Now, Brian Menser has been faced with some heavy competitors. I mean, he faced Michael Muha in his first or second match here. Not an easy feat at all, especially who a competitor who's still undefeated here. But Brian's coming back here today as well. Yeah, and I'm again. I'm excited to see how Brian does too. I'm I'm not too familiar with these last two competitors, but I think I'm excited to see how they perform, especially against you know Evans' losing score. And finally, last but not least, we have Mike Arnone returning to the cheap seats movie trivia. Mike Arnone is a, is a good story behind him. I mean, he came in here, he won his first two matches, and then we decided to shoot him right up in the rankings. We put him up against our number one and two ranked competitor. He did lose those two matches, but he still played very well. He competed the whole way through. He went all the way to his five, and I think both of those losses. And I think Mike's ready to come in here and get another win on his record. I think so, too. And I, I understand the pressures of going against those top-tier competitors, and it is it's tough, and it's it's really difficult, but I think uh, now that he's playing against Evan Boffman's losing record, I, I think he might be able to bring up his spirit to match that. So we're, we're going to see what happens tonight. Very important to emphasize that. Very important to emphasize that. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and bring those guys into the group here. Let's bring them into and see what they have to say. Starting off with a guy we usually see here first, Evan Boffman. Evan Boffman Evan joins Boffman. us today. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Evan. You know, um, I believe in that introduction, Max mentioned my losing record. He did about, do that. He did do that. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, well, all I'll say in this situation, Chase and Max, is we both had a good friend growing up in high school who had an unfortunate accident. He ripped open his, his testicles on the handlebars of his scooter. And the only handlebar that I see that likes balls on it as much is Mac on Max's face. <laughs> Oh, if only <laughs> run into my face. <laughs> God, we don't have to name names. I mean, Joe. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on. Uh, Brian Menser <laughs> also joins us today on the program. He's got some tapestry in his background there. Uh, what's that symbol behind you, Brian, and what does it mean to you? I couldn't tell you. It's not mine. <laughs> Um, but I think, it has a good start. I think it has something to do with, uh, hentai or I'm sorry, anime. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think we're gonna have a good. Uh, I, 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 do you have any questions for Brian Max, or are you good? Are you deep? I don't. I don't. I just <laughs> cleared up my only Thanks question. For me. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, let's go. Let's get Mike in here uh, before they they cut off our stream. Uh, Mike Arnone joins us on the program today. Mike, how are you doing? We can't hear you. I know. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Mike's always Mike's always uh, starting off with the jokes and the bits. Uh, he always has the good entrances and, and loves to make us think of technical difficulties here, which isn't stressful at all. Uh, Mike, you're, you're back, man. How's it going? Fantastic. You know, it's uh, always good to be here, um, especially uh, seeing Evan going up against him now. I'm really excited because, you know, he's always – yeah, you know, sometimes he has the witty remarks on the other side of the desk. So I feel like I'm being targeted right now. We'll see. We'll I'm, see what I'm, happens. I'm Owen too. I don't know why. <laughs> and Brian, I mean, Brian knows. So. What do I know? I don't know. You, you know. <laughs> All right. Before before they before they start knocking down the doors, uh, let's just go ahead and and, and get into this damn game. Uh, but Max, before we do that, I'm going to ask you: Would you please read the round number one rules for us? Certainly. <clears throat> Our round number one rules: There are eight questions in random categories given to each competitor. Competitors have 15 seconds to write their answer. Answers must be said aloud when reading them. All questions are worth one point. A perfect round triggers a one or two point bonus question. There is the seat rule in play, which means each competitor can ask three times during the match for a question to be repeated. There's also challenges. Each competitor can challenge any ruling reverse, any ruling reversals let you keep your challenge. That is absolutely true. Fine reading, Maxwell. Fine Thank you. reading, Maxwell. I uh, I asked Abby Wellner this a couple of weeks ago. I know this about you for a fact. You're a Scholastic Book Fair kind of guy, so uh, I know that I know reading is definitely a strong suit. I am. I, do, I am. I like the I like the ones with the pictures as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As we all do. As we all do. Those PlayStation Two uh, code breaking uh, ones. Yeah. Hell yeah. Those are all hard, right, guys. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get into the competition today. But before we do, I'll ask Mike, competition. Okay. Yep. Uh, Evan, are you ready for today's competition? Oh, wait. Did you ask me? You cut out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Mike, are you ready for today's competition? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you Born very ready. much. Uh, Evan, are you ready for today's competition? Yeah. Uh, Brian, are you ready for today's competition? Uh, we'll see. I think so. Okay, very good. Then See. let's get into this round of the Cheap Seats movie trivia. All right, gentlemen, like Max stated before, you will have eight questions in this first round here. I'll be reading the first question to you, and it goes like this. It's in the category of biopics. Category is biopics. Who does Leonardo DiCaprio portray in The Wolf of Wall Street? Uh, I would like to consider this kind of question a layup. So uh, we'll see if our competitors can get it here. A layup. Chase, I consider myself a feral dog of East State Street. That's what, that's, yep, that's what they say. And five, four, three, two, one, pens down. We're going to Mike. Oh, it's uh, Jordan Belfort. That is correct, Evan. I also put Jordan Belfort. That is correct. And Brian? I had Jordan Belfort. Okay, that is correct. We are all tied up at three here. All tied up at three. Moving on to our next question. Question two is in the category of classics. This 1975 British comedy parodies the legend of King Arthur, his Knights of the Round Table, as they embark on a surreal, low-budget search and encounter very silly obstacles. What is the movie? Very good. Um, you've encountered some silly obstacles in your lifetime, would you say, Max? I have, yes. Uh, like reading earlier, as we mentioned. Very true. Very, very true. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Boffman. Uh, Monty, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That is correct. Brian. 
Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That is correct. And Mike? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Okay, Ooh. we're sticking with it, guys. We're three for three so far uh, on the board there. So the score is twos all across the board. Twos all across the board. You're moving on to your next question. Question number three. This comes in the category of 90s films, gentlemen. 90s films. Who stars as Peter Pan in 1991's Hook? Dan, Evan. Evan, what's your record again? Was it was it one and one? It's six and nine. Good for you. <laughs> nice. Good for you. A lot of good jokes on today's uh today's stream. A lot of good jokes on today's stream. All right, and we're going to five, four, three, two, one. Let's start with Brian. I have no clue. I put Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise is incorrect. Mike, would you have? I put Leo DiCaprio. That's Leo wrong. Leo DiCaprio is also incorrect. Evan, would you have? It's it's Robin Williams, guys. Ooh. It is Robin Williams. Evan stays Peter Pan. so far. Wow. Evan's got three Peter points Pan. here. Evan's got three points. Mike oh. and Brian both have R.I.P. This is the has, first time yes, I'm hearing of this. Huge, huge R.I.P. Of Hook? Of Hook? Yeah. <laughs> I just haven't it. seen that um, movie in a long time. Uh, so, uh, Evan still has a bonus point opportunity here getting into our fourth question. Our fourth question is in the category of actors and actresses. Who appears as Cindy Campbell in the Scary Movie franchise? Hmm. Chase, I should have wrote some some banter down. I'm gonna to try to think of something for the next question. Hey man, it comes off the you know it usually comes off the top of the head. If you don't got it, you don't got it. Not all of us are quick witted. Um, in five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Mike. I think you know if I'm thinking of the right person, it's the chick with blonde hair. I forget her name. That is that's the answer. Um, um, correct. But, but yeah. Evan, I'm gonna. Uh, I hate myself right um, now. Anna Ferris. Yeah. Anna Ferris is Whoa. correct. Brian, would you have? Uh, I put IDK. She bad though. <laughs> she <Yep>. bad though. <laughs> All right. So Brian and Mike. If we're still being completely two. honest, if we're being completely honest, I should get half a point for that. A little bit in the question, and instantly thought Scream, and oh, yeah, I can yeah, see I can. why. Thank you for uh, explaining know. it to us. All right, Evan's got four points. Mike and Brian both with two. Moving it's on fine. to question number five here. This is in the category of classics, gentlemen. Classics. In the 1960s, there were seven movies released in the James Bond saga. Name one. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the James Bond films, Max? I have. I have. Uh, they're pretty good. I've enjoyed them. I just started watching them. I saw my last... Uh, I saw my first James Bond film last Friday. I've made my way through a bulk of the Sean Connery films, and I'm enjoying myself. Another I, huge um, R.I.P. That dude loves having sex on boats. Um, Loved. So, uh, very, very good. In five, four, three, two... One, let's go to Brian Mincer. Um, I had one answer, cross it out. I put die another day, couldn't remember if that was it, and then I put Goldfinger. Goldfinger is correct for one point back on the board. Mike, what'd you have? Octopussy. Octopussy is incorrect. What? Uh Evan, what'd you have? I had never say never again. Never say never again is also incorrect. Oh. Evan loses his bonus point opportunity. Uh, Brian Mincer creeps closer to him. We would have accepted Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, Casino Royale, and On Her Majesty's Secret Service. So no, uh, the though. only point awarded there goes to Brian Mincer. Moving on to our next question. Uh, I'm so mad at like Anna Ferris, dude. Mike, that would have been an acceptable answer for what is in Evan's Amazon cart right now. So we're going to move into... I thought that was a Bond movie. Question... Yeah, it just didn't come out in the 60s. Question... A Bond oh. movie. I'm trying to read my question. Sorry. Okay. 
I'm going to, I'm going to have to have a new rule that nobody can interrupt me. Question six, dramas. Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio star in this 2013 romantic drama based on a novel of the same name. Another, uh, another Leonardo DiCaprio question. I'm a big hey, fan. Hey, also, Toby can Maguire. I use my repeat? Yes, yeah. you may. Brian's Sir. first repeat. Question six in the genre of dramas. Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio star in this 2013 romantic drama based on a novel of the same name. What's his fucking name? Good use of the repeat here. Excellent um, use. Let's see if uh, Brian ended up getting that last point here. So if he can remember a book that we probably all read in high school, or at least uh, skim through, uh, he'll be able to uh, get this one here too. Could it be oh, Shabu? Oh, got it. In five, Fuck. four, three, two, one. I'll ask for pens down, and we're going to Mike. Party movie, Martini Glass. I forget his name. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Almost. Uh, Evan, we're going to you. That would be The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is correct. Brian and Jeff. Um... I, I, I just I just couldn't I couldn't come up with an answer. Okay, very good. So Brian does not get the answer there. Evan back on the board. Now he has five. Mike with two. Brian with three. Moving you really on. lost me at books. <laughs> to your penultimate. <laughs> I know the movie. I just forget the name, which kind of sucks because like uh, that's the point of the game. Moving on to your penultimate question here, gentlemen. It's question number seven, and it comes in the category of action adventure. The events of Tokyo Drift take place after most of the Fast and Furious franchise. In which order was it released? Looking for the order, the order of release for Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Hmm. Order of release. Are you a fan of this franchise, Max? I love this franchise. I really do. You know, I'm not. Uh, but one time I got kicked out of a bar because of Vin Diesel. So I guess I maybe. That's it. That's probably, a, that's probably a really good story for another time. Um, it is. Shout out to uh, shout out to Vinny D. I, I suppose maybe not. Maybe we. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. All right. Very good. Uh, we're going down to five, four, three, two, one. Evan, what'd you have? Uh, is it three? That is correct. Brian, what'd you have? Wow. I honestly just wrote down um, Tokyo because I have no no knowledge on anything relating to drifting in Tokyo. Yep. Uh, Mike, what'd you have? I thought you meant like in the time period. I put like the fifth. Like I know it wasn't the fifth movie, but Correct. I under, I understand your. Yeah. Uh, I do understand your. Uh, yeah your answer there um either way even if you would answer the question you thought you were asked it's still wrong yeah <laughs> i know but, it was like the third one uh it was the third release the yeah. sixth in order of, of time yeah. uh, we're moving on to the final question here guys okay evan hasn't been this happy since his mom what gave him what a very specific question <laughs> <laughs> okay question number eight i hope you heard that joke evan i didn't have the any genre <laughs> The genre is comedies. Seth Rogen's Dale Denton witnesses drug lord Ted Jones murder a man in Pineapple Express. Why is Dale at Ted's house? A little uh, plot-related question here. I'm sure all of these gentlemen have seen this motion picture, so let's see how well they uh, remember the motion picture. Hmm. Evan looks very focused right now. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's got a nice little lead here, but if he can tack on to that lead just a little bit more, I think he's going to ask for a repeat. Okay. Certainly, Evan. Repeat and use. Excellent use of the repeat. Thank you. Question number eight is comedy. Seth Rogen's Dale Denton witnessed drug lord Ted Jones murder a man in Pineapple Express. Why is Dale at Ted's house? Good use of the repeat here. Like I was saying before, Evan has himself in a pretty nice scoring position here. If he can mm. keep tacking this on, uh, I think we're going to have a happy camper on our hands. But we'll see if he can come up with the answer in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. We're starting with Brian. 
Uh, I have buying slash obtaining drugs. <laughs> that is the incorrect answer. Uh, we're going to Mike. Serving him, like serving him papers, and he was we'll smoking a bowl. We'll but I mean, that. we will accept serving papers. Uh, well, no, he's smoking a J. Um, no, yeah, I had he got kicked out of his girlfriend's house, and he was smoking a J. So that is that incorrect. Uh, Mike was correct there. He was delivering a subpoena. He was uh, delivering a subpoena. So, yes. uh, Mike, you absolutely got that correct. So after that, Mike has three and has five, and Brian has three. So Evan Boffman is in the lead a little bit here. Uh, moving on to round number two. Max, how's that work? Round number two. Each competitor spins the category wheel. You can re-spin once unless the wheel lands on your opponent's choice. Competitor will get five questions from your chosen category. Questions are worth two points. If multiple choice is requested, your value drops to one point. Opponents may steal the competitor gives an incorrect answer and the repeats and challenges are still in effect absolutely well read uh maxwell and yes uh the the the, the wheel is up here evan you are in the lead and mike you are the uh, uh, highest ranked competitor in the game so i'll ask first evan would you like to spin the wheel or would you like to uh defer to mike to have the chance to defer to brian i'd like to spin the wheel Okay, Evan wants to take the wheel. So here it is, Evan, your categories are 2000s movies, 1990s movies, comedies, action adventure, coming of age, romantic comedies, dramas, and comic book movies. You ready for your spin? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Round and round the wheel goes and romantic comedies. You want to keep it or you want to spin again? I would like to spin again, please. Okay. <sighs> Uh, what you land on, you must take. What you land on, you must take. And it looks like it is destined <laughs> to be a brother. Romantic comedies okay. is what okay. you're going to be sticking with today. Uh, Max, whenever you're ready, yes, feel sir. free to ask Evan these questions. Certainly. And I'd like to get an update real quick. Evan, Does Evan have six points or five points? Um. Because I had it recorded that he had six. You are said, absolutely okay. correct. He okay. got the first four, and he got um, he got six and seven. You're right. Yeah. Evan, okay. To update that, Evan has six points. Mike has three points. Brian has three points. Thank you very much, Max. That's why Certainly. I got you here today. Very good. Hey, I'm looking out for Ev. Good call. Uh, okay. It's first time this round, but very good. <laughs> so we are on. <laughs> we're on romantic comedy. Yes. Evan, are you ready? I'm ready. Thank you, Max. First question. Issa Rae and Kumal Nanjani star as a couple who gets unintentionally embroiled in a bizarre murder mystery in this 2020 movie. Oh. We'll remind the competitors that uh, I'm going to ask for multiple choice. That's why I'm going to remind the competitors. Your multiple choice seven is. Do I repeat the question whenever they ask for multiple choice? Uh. You can, yeah. You can, okay. Yeah. Um, Issa Rae and Kumal Nanjani star as a couple who gets unintentionally embroiled in a bizarre murder mystery in this 2020 movie. Your multiple choices A, Date Night, B, The Lovebirds, C, Honeymoon Killers, and D, About Last Night. Can I have a repeat of the options, please? You get this one for free. This yeah. one for free. Got it. A, date night. B, the lovebirds. C, the honeymoon killers. And D, about last night. I'm going to go with D, about last night. D, about last night is an incorrect answer. So what we'll do in this instance, Mike and Brian, you will both have the chance to write da this down since you have the opportunity to both get the answer correct. So um, once again, Max, if you would like to repeat just the options um, for them. So gentlemen, the options are A, date night, B, the lovebirds, or C, the honeymoon killers. In five, four, three, two, one, going to Mike. Lovebirds. Lovebirds is correct. Brian, what you have? 
Oh, that was my other choice. I put date night, though. Okay, so uh, Mike ends up getting the steal there. Mike catapults himself up to four points. Good work, Mike. Thank you. Trust okay. your God. Next question. Is this you or me, Chase? This is you, brother. Got it. Question number two, Evan, are you still awake? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> number two is, to liven up a party in 13 going on 30, Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo break out a dance to this popular 80s song. Multiple choice. Okay. The multiple choice is A, Sweet Child of Mine, B, When Doves Cry, C, Under Pressure, or D, Thriller. We have to go with D, Thriller. D, Thriller is the correct answer. Yes. You scored yourself one point. He uh, sees himself with one point, taking himself to seven points. He uses the multiple choice well here. Let's see if he can get these next two. Penultimate question coming up. Okay. Your third question is, in what happens in Vegas, Joy and Jack come to the sober realization that they have been married. They, they have married each other after a night of drunken abandon. Who plays Joy? I'm assuming that meant partying, Chase. Is that? Um, where? I'm, Maybe. I'm going to ask for multiple, <laughs> multiple choice. It is. <laughs> yes, yes, Your multiple choice for the question. Catherine Heigl. A. B. Rachel McAdams. C. Drew Barrymore. Or D. Cameron Diaz. Oh, man. It could be any one of them. <laughs> Gosh. It could um, be. I'm going to go with A, Catherine Heigl. Catherine Heigl is the incorrect answer. So we're moving over again, Mike and Brian. You have the opportunity to write this down in order to get the correct answer. Can we get a repeat of the question? Certainly. Thank you, sir. In what happens in Vegas, Joy and Jack come to the sober realization that they have married each other after a night of drunken partying. Who plays Joy? Abandon is the right word. You know, like reckless a, abandon? Like reckless drunken abandon? abandon? Yeah, yeah, like reckless abandon, Max? Drunken what were the choices again? Drunken Drew, abandon. Barry, Drew Barrymore and... Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and repeat the, the choices. The choices man. are A, Catherine Heigl, B, Rachel McAdams, and C, Drew Barrymore. I believe there was a fourth one. There too. is. Yeah. And D, Cameron Diaz. Sorry. Yes. My first time, Evan. Get off my back, please. Okay, I'm just trying. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Mike. Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams is incorrect. Uh, Brian. Obviously, I put the incorrect answer right from the <laughs> All right, uh, guys, the correct answer we're looking for was Cameron Diaz. The one he left Diaz out. Second was... choice ever. That's mine as well. Uh, moving on, guys, to the I last I thought that was like a hint. And romantic. <laughs> okay, it's not the last one. <laughs> it, it wasn't. <laughs> the last question. Are we ready for me to really just hit this one out of the park? Yes. Question number four, Evan, is what is Charlize Theron's political role in the 2019 film Long Shot? I think I know it, but I'm just going to play it safe and go with multiple choice. Okay. okay. Your multiple choice is A, Director of the Central Intelligence, B, Director of National Intelligence, C, Secretary of Education, or D, Secretary of State? Oh, man. It was in my head. I'm going to go D, Secretary of State. D, Secretary of State is the correct answer. Yes. That's Absolutely. Let's Kevin go. gets himself up to eight. It looks like Mike might have known that one, too. Uh, but, yeah, after that round, Evan gets himself a couple of points in the round, and he is, uh, you know, sitting pretty. He's at eight points right now, eight points for Mr. Boffman. Max, do you have the same? I do. 
Very good. Okay, uh, Mike, you are the you are the higher ranked competitor. So, would you like to spend, or would you like to defer to Brian? Huh. You know what, Brian? You can go ahead and spin the wheel. All right, your spin is coming up. Are you ready? No. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, two thousands. Do you want to keep it or spin again? Give me it. Give me it. I'm not. I'm not taking the risk. All right. Very good. Not taking the risk on the respin. I lived he's through gonna, those years. He did lift the True. two thousand. So we'll see how many questions in this you actually know. Are you ready, Brian? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's your first question. In the two thousands, in Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events, Jim Carrey plays a distant relative to the Baudelaire siblings. What is his name? Uh, may I have multiple choice? <laughs> Absolutely, you may. Is it A, Stefano, B, Olaf, C, Sham, or D, Klaus? It's a tough one. Uh, I apologize if I... Uh, Klaus, for 200, please. Klaus is incorrect, so uh, uh, Evan and Mike, you'll have the opportunity to steal. Again, the question is, in the Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events, Jim Carrey plays a distant relative to the Baudelaire siblings. What is his name? A, Stefano, B, Olaf, C, Sham, or D, Klaus? I'll go down to five, four, three. Two, one, let's start with our known. I put Olaf. I don't know. Okay, that is correct. Evan, oh, what'd you have? Yeah, count Olaf. Okay, very yeah, good. So Evan, my, uh... Evan sneaks up another point. He gets himself to nine. Mike brings himself up to five. And Brian still sitting at three with three questions left in the 2000s. You ready for your next question? Snowman, psych me out. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for your next question? Other motherfucker. <laughs> All right, very good. Two uh, thousands. You'll find the characters Anton Shagurin, Shig Shigur Lewin Moss, and Sheriff Ed Bell in this two thousand and seven crime thriller. If you don't know this, I don't even know what Chase was trying to say. I'll, I'll repeat that. I'll repeat that. You'll find the characters Anton Shagurin. Lewin Moss and Sheriff Ed Bell in this 2007 crime thriller. No, uh, no repeat for you there. Hmm. Multiple choice, please. Okay. Is it A, no country for old men? B, for the devil knows you're dead? C, the man who wasn't there? Or D, the killer inside me? Um, I want to say it's no country, but I'm not positive. Are you, is that your final answer? Yes. All right. No country for old men is the correct answer. Brian Menser gets himself one more point there. He's up to four Cheers. points so far in the game. He's got two more questions in 2000. You should put an ultimate question at Brian. 2000s. Yes. Eight movie. Yes, man. Carl and Allison attend a themed party based on what fantasy film series? Multiple choice, please. Okay, is it A, Lord of the Rings, B, Star Wars, C, Star Trek, or D, Harry Potter? Oh man, dude. Oh, it's been a while since I've watched that movie. Um, but I want to say it was Star Wars. Final answer? Yes. Star Wars is incorrect. <laughs> Gentlemen, Mike and Evan, please write this down. Here's your question. In the 2008 movie, Yes Man, Carl and Allison attend a themed party based on what fantasy film series? Is it A, Lord of the Rings, B, Star Wars, C, Star Trek, or D, Harry Potter? Mm. 
Evan looks confident. Yeah. Looks like he's ready to go. We'll see. Made if we me can, just change uh, my answer. Adding um, to the board here in five, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Bach. Be Harry Potter. Harry Potter is correct. Uh, bringing him up to 10 points. Mike, what you have? I went with the other star movie. Uh, star Trek is incorrect. Mike stays <laughs> at five points. That was my Stays second choice, Mike. All right, uh, Brian, you've got one more question left in the 2000 here, and here it right, is. So. In the 2006 movie Children of Men, what is the large threat to the, all of mankind? Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't have to write this down. What the fuck? You know. um, I'm sorry. I'm going to say children, final answer. <laughs> um, could you be more specific? Bad children. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is incorrect. Um, both Mike and Evan, this will be a two-point opportunity, but you do have to write this down still. So okay. your question is... In the 2006 movie Children of Men, what is the large threat to all of mankind? So Brian goes with children. Um, <laughs> and he answers it for it, and then he changes the answer to bad children. Um, which, you know, you know, you know, give or take, you know, it's you gotta do your thing. Uh, but we'll see what we got in five, four, three, two, one pens down, we're going to Boffman. Um children aren't being able to be born okay and mike what you have aliens <laughs> aliens is incorrect uh evan your answer is correct infertility is the uh correct answer so evan's got 12 points mike has five and 12. spencer has four points so with that being said mike it's time <sighs> to spin your wheel brother spin the wheel. ready to go yes sir all right here we go 1990s. Do you want to keep it or spin again? Mm. We'll keep it. Okay. Mike right. is going to stick with the 1990s. Uh, Max, whenever you're ready, feel free to ask Mike these questions. Got it. Okay, your first question in the 1990s category. A father becomes worried when a local gangster befriends his son in crime-filled New York in the 1960s. Name the movie. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale is the correct answer. Very good. Mike gets himself up to seven nice points there. Seven the points. Can't leave. <laughs> okay, your next question. In Dazed and Confused, what kind of hazing do the seniors put the incoming freshmen through? We're thinking of the male seniors here. The male seniors. Male the male male kind of hazing. Freshmen. Like. All right, I'll just take a multiple choice because I'm, I'm multiple not sure. Choice. Got it. So we're looking for the kind of hazing that the male seniors put the incoming freshmen through. Is it A, public nudity? B, branding c fourth drug slash alcohol consumption or d paddling c c is the incorrect answer so evan and brian get your pen and paper you will have the opportunity to steal this one. Oh, here it is <laughs> you can read the question and options yes. max yes got it the question is, in Dazed and Confused, what kind of hazing did the male senior put the incoming freshman through? Is it A, public nudity, B, branding, C, forced drug or alcohol consumption, or D, paddling? All right, let's see if uh, Boffman and Menser can pick up some points here in this one. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go to Brian. I put uh, public nudity. Public nudity is incorrect. Evan, would you have? I also put public nudity. Public nudity is uh, incorrect. The correct answer we're looking for, guys, was paddling. Paddling. It's paddling always the one I don't. Answer. All right, Mike, you got two more questions. Two more questions. <clears throat> Your third question is, in Baby's Day Out, Infant Bink befriends what type of zoo animal? Huh. I've never seen this one. 
Let's do a multiple choice. Sure, multiple choice. Is it A, African lion, B, giant panda bear, C, warthog, or D, gorilla? I'm going with B. B is the incorrect answer. All right, Evan and Brian, um, you'll have the opportunity to steal here. So to repeat your choices and the question, in Baby's Day Out, infant Bink befriends what type of zoo animal? Is it A, an African lion, B, a giant panda bear, C, a warthog, or D, a gorilla? And like you said, D. I don't remember. <laughs> no, Mike. Mike said. Uh, don't tell. Don't tell them. Don't tell them don't oh, sorry. Okay, I mean, weather's great today. <laughs> All right. Uh, in five, four, three, two, one. Pen sound. You say to me. Yep. Gotcha. I put African lion. African lion is incorrect. <laughs> Brian, what you have? I had gorilla. Gorilla is correct. Brian oh. steals himself a point to get up to five points. As long as Evan right. doesn't get any, I'm you got fine. one more question, Mike. <clears throat> I need this one. Okay, Let's Mike. Make it a good one. Your last question. In Forrest Gump, Forrest appears on Dick Cavett alongside which famous rock musician? Fuck. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> no, it's, I have someone in my mind, and I want to ask for the multiple choice. I didn't. I want to, maybe. If And if they're on there, I'm going to regret asking for it. And if they're not on there, I'll be happy because then I'll... It's a good analysis. So what I'm going to do, uh, I think... In five. Is ask for the multiple four. choice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, since it's been five minutes since I asked the question, I'm going to repeat it again. In Forrest Gump, Forrest appears on Dick Cavett alongside which famous rock musician? Is it A, John Lennon, B, Bob Dylan, C, Elvis Presley, or D, Jimi Hendrix? And that's what I was thinking about. So you know what? I'm just going to say D, Jimi Hendrix. D, Jimi Hendrix, is the incorrect answer. That was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Evan and Brian, you will have the opportunity to steal this question. So I will uh, repeat the question and the choices for you fellas. In Forrest Gump, Forrest appears on Dick Cavett alongside which famous rock musician? Is it A, John Lennon, B, Bob Dylan, C, Elvis Presley, or D, Jimi Hendrix. All right, last question in round two here. Um, let's see if Evan will uh, stretch that lead out any farther. Let's see if Brian will have a chance to catch up. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Brian. I got Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is the incorrect answer. Evan, what'd you have? I put John Lennon. John Lennon, correct answer. <laughs> Died that in was the my hotel second guess. New York right after that. Yes. Uh, 13 is Evan's score. Seven is Mike's score. And five is Brian's score, guys. We're getting into it. It was a, it was a rocky round three. Uh, but let's see what we can get into when we get into round three. <laughs> yes. Okay. Your rules for round three. Competitors will pick three numbers that will correspond to three random categories. Each competitor gets three questions. Questions are worth two, three, and five points, and there will be no stealing or multiple choice in this round. That's absolutely true, guys. So this is going to have to be all brain power here today, all brain power here today. If you want the correct answer, you're going to have to answer it off rep evan you are in the lead so please give us three numbers between one and 12. i would like 11 okay seven okay. and 12. okay uh mike please three numbers between one and 12 that are not 11 7 or 12. three six nine 
Okay, three, six, nine is what Mike picks. And Brian, please give us uh, three numbers from one to 12 that are not 11, seven, 12, three, six, or nine. I'll just take two, four, five. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, Brian, you are in um, you are in last place here. So yes. Max is going to ask you your two point question to start off. You selected number two. Got it. The two point question comes in the category of Oscars. Okay. Who won the award for best actress for starring as June Cash in Walk the Line? Um, uh, was it um, Legally Blonde? What's her name? Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon is the correct answer. Holy oh, shoot. Brian gets himself two points to go up to seven points. Which means we're moving on to Mike to ask his two point question. Very good pull from Brian. He really sniped that one out there. He's got seven points in the game so far. Mike, you gave us the number three, which corresponds with the animated category. Name a subtitle of one of the movies in the Ice Age franchise. A new world. A new world is incorrect. Mm, sad. You have accepted the meltdown, dawn of the dinosaurs, continental drift, or collision course. Mm. Collision course. All right, all right, Mike. We're gonna move on to your three now. This is number six for you. Number six for you. Action adventure is your category. Okay. Action adventure is your category. <clears throat> The fourth installment of the series A Good Day to Die Hard primarily takes place in which country? Silence. Thank you. It's European. We're going to say five. You know what? Shooting from the hip. Two. One. Germany. Germany is incorrect. <laughs> and a ton of suspense on that one. Looking for Russia. That was my Russia. other one. <laughs> oh Russia my is the correct God. answer you were looking for. So we're we're still sticking with Mike here. We're still sticking with Mike here. This is your five point question, Mike. You gave us number nine. Here's your five point question. This is in comic book movies. Comic book movies. Name two of the actors who portray Bully Flash Thompson in any of the five live action Spider movies. Two Spider of them. Movies. So the one is uh, Joe Mana Jello or whatever the fuck his name is. That is the correct. I will, I will, ex yeah, will accept that. It's one. And then what's that little dweeb with the. With the car and the new one. Uh, I don't know his name. What about with Andy? With Andy. Hey, Andy Bob. Garfield. Andy Three. Garfield going against. Two. Uh, going against uh, Jake Paul. <laughs> Jake Paul is incorrect. <laughs> Uh, so that, with, with that, that takes Mike Arnone out of contention for the game. Mike, unfortunately, Ooh. you will not have an opportunity to win today's game. So uh, Still we're going to remove you from the stream for now, but please stick around so we can hang out with you afterwards. Uh, all right, we're kicking off. We're going back to Brian for his three-point question. He gave us number three for that, or I'm sorry, number four for that. Three point question number four. It is in the category of sports. The 2005 movie, The Lords of Dogtown, focuses on what sport? The Lords of Dogtown. 
mind, Brian. I think Brian has two repeats left. He does. He needs to answer this correctly in order to have a chance to win the game. The Lord, what's my time limit? I, I, I'm sorry. You have about uh, you have about six more seconds to answer, but you do have two repeats. Okay, can I get a repeat? Certainly. <clears throat> so, your question is in the category of sports. The 2005 movie, The Lords of Dogtown, focuses on what sport? I'm going to say mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts is the incorrect answer. And your winner, Evan Boffman. Evan Boffman wins wow. this round of the cheap skateboarding Brian. movie trivia <laughs> skateboarding was the correct answer to the Lord's oh, Town look question. At my, look at third place <laughs> coming in from the Raptors. Didn't I beat you? You did not. You did not. I don't no, know. No, but I've no, beaten him actually, before. You did, you did beat him today. You did beat him. Yeah, and I've beaten him before. <laughs> but so guys, we'll does it place. ultimately matter? You both lost. <laughs> <laughs> the only actually, one who is the winner here is your truly Evan wow. I knew a lot. I'll tell you what. I just Lost the wrong road. answer. <laughs> Woo! The movies that I have seen. Oh. <laughs> if you I ask, me, run if this you ask back. me questions that I knew the answer to, I get them all right. <laughs> I want to run this back. <laughs> Uh, Soon. I will say that actually looking at this, I, I believe that Mike and Brian tied. They tied. Um, they, Mike and Brian tied at seven. Evan did end up winning the game with 13 points. So neither of you came in third place. Both of you tied for last, uh, we'll say, though. Um, <laughs> Evan, congratulations on your first victory in the Cheap Seats movie wow. trivia. Uh, there was no funny business today. Evan came in here got it done he uh he got stuck with a category he didn't want in the second round he pulled through he got some steals in some other categories evan how are you feeling today man chase i feel great um you know compliments to max on the other side of the desk i thought he did a very very good job replacing me today but you know i had to step into the ring take a couple punches you know i had to get my feet wet i had to get that first dub and guess what i got my first dub here today Love to see it, Chase. Love to see it. Max, any questions for uh, Mr. Bobman? You know, all I got to say, Evan, I know I was giving you a hard time, but I was just trying to set up the underdog vibe. And yeah. I think you, you took that layup and you slammed it down. So I'm proud of you, bud. Thank you. And it was it was a great match. Both competitors, you know, we all gave it our all there. I felt that we none of us might have gotten the uh, categories that we wanted there in the second round. But, you know, a lot of steals opportunities, a lot of multiple choice was used. But, hey, win is a win. I'm on the scoreboard at one and two looking to get another dub here soon. Yeah, good. Uh, it's really well said, Evan. And yeah, you know, you 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 did it. You got your first victory. You're sitting at uh, a singles record of one and two now. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the pool's opening up a little bit for you. You're going to have some more people that you have the opportunity to face. I know it's been a long time since you've competed in singles. You did have the opportunity to compete in our Halloween countdown match versus yes. Rich Williams, which is also a really great match there. But yeah, I mean, Evan, you're going to have to take this loss or I'm sorry, take this win rather, and you know, go home with it, man. You're gonna have to uh, keep coming back, keep in the books, and and seeing if you can prosper past this. I'll go to Brian Mincer next. Brian, you uh, you didn't win this game here, but hey, you played damn well, and I don't think that uh, same situation. Maybe that second round was not the uh, category that you. I don't think you spun again. I think you stuck with the 2000s. I yeah. think maybe if you had spun again, maybe landed on a comedies or comic book movies, you would have probably, you know, seen yourself a little doing a little bit better there. But how are you feeling after today's game? Uh, I'll tell you what, the one the one question that still is sitting there in the back of my mind is On affairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know I don't know what chemical imbalance occurred in my brain that made me think that you were referring to screen. <laughs> 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 regardless i don't think it would have made much of a difference um you know moving forward i you know you put muha against me first round that's kind of like putting clemson against um you know 
South Alabama John, Jaguars. You know, I hit Johnstown, but like, uh, <laughs> you know, let me get let me get a more formidable opponent. For, you know, for my for my standards, like a like a Caleb Malone, or like a, uh, um, you know, maybe someone who's just a complete idiot, like, uh, um, like a Mike Arnone. <laughs> I'll look. I'll, I'm ready. Well, listen, just to, just to we got the, the same score. Back. Just to keel, uh, peel the curtain back a little bit, Caleb Malone was actually supposed to compete in this match yeah. today. Evan Dodging. Bachman was a last-minute addition. So had Evan not been here today, maybe the game would have gone in either Brian or Mike's favor. Maybe they would have been able to top Caleb Malone if he was in the uh, position of, of, of instead of Evan Bachman. But that is not the story today. And you're right, Brian, maybe we're going to have to put you up against a more formidable opponent. Like you said, maybe even a, a true class idiot. But hey, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Mike Arnone, you're sitting at two and three. Uh, you've lost your last three matches. You won your first two, but you wave it off right there. How you feeling, man? I mean, you know, you look at the answers I wrote down. I knew, but I just didn't know. So at the mm. end of the day, you just gotta gotta watch more film. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, no, like this. This is also kind of a long con. Um, you know, Caleb's been dodging, so I might need to just. Maybe I'm throwing, you know? Okay. <laughs> if there's any betters out there, you know. Hmm. I don't want to affect the lines or anything, but who knows? <laughs> maybe I'm Could be. dodging the numbers, so I have to face Caleb. They do. I do wonder uh, what the line was. No, I'm not. For, I, I just uh, really fucked Kings up. And FanDuel. <laughs> Uh, for the cheap seats movie trivia they have recently added us on there if you guys weren't aware you can look in the description below uh to to, to <laughs> add us on to fan duels and DraftKings kings and, and start betting uh but you know it was a good match nonetheless max you got anything for our other competitors here i'll just say at least everybody showed up tonight you know whether or not you, sure. you knew on affairs real name or, or the great gatsby was more than just a guy holding up a glass we're all here tonight you know, and uh, nobody backed down. Just you know, so I'm I'm just proud of you guys for that. Good job. I knew, but I didn't know. Well said, Max and Brian. I'll, I'll just congratulate you, man. Um, Reese Witherspoon, probably the best pull of the game there. Good yeah, game. that was Good great. I forced cool me. Game, man. Uh, so, force my hand from a, so, from a, a deep uh, and dark place. <laughs> <laughs> so again, uh, Evan, congratulations to you, man. I'll just ask real quick. Uh, it sounds like Brian and, and Mike both want to get at Caleb Malone here. Evan, do you have your, your sight set on anybody in the cheap seats movie trivia? Well, Chase, I, I think there's a there's a great wrong that needs to be righted. And I think that comes in the form of the ultimate fan tournament. And my win that was never shown in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Lost episode, the lost episode. So I will say right now I am the rightful MCU champion. And I mm. want someone to come at me with everything they've got. Because if you don't know, I beat not only James Gabriel in that match, but the Michael Muha, I beat in that match as well. And this is all true. It's all I true there. It is there. I won. I, I want someone in MCU. I want someone to come challenge for my title. Okay. Well, Evan, uh, obviously, uh, he didn't answer my question, but <laughs> he did have a, a very nice statement there. Was that not your question? What's next for me, right? In the singles league, but the ultimate fan hey. tournament, hey, that works too. Hey, uh, it was a good answer. Nonetheless, I'm not going to take anything away from you because you answered that well. Uh, but hey, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to get back to the drawing boards and see who we can put Mike up against, who we can put Brian up against. Maybe uh, these guys will pop up in a, a teams tournament again. Maybe yeah. they'll have to find some partners and see who they want to go up against in a team style match, maybe help each other out and get each other some of those answers. And we'll see what we can do in the future. But that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Brian. We're going to drop you out for now. I'm going to tell Max some secrets, and then we're going to get out Ooh. of here. Max, fun, fun match today. The Good three match. of those guys, uh, they certainly played a match today. They did. And it was great to see – I, I feel like Evan really brought it tonight. I, I saw from the moment that he stepped into the call here, he was 
zoned in from how many buttons he had down on his shirt he came to play and uh, I think the other two gentlemen did well I think it was you know Evan just really brought his A game tonight and uh, he really had a lot of good luck with the questions and it was impressive that he spun wrong twice but he was able to pick it up so it was a good match overall yeah it certainly was uh, like we said this was our first triple threat match here in the cheap seats movie trivia for this uh league and it was as good as you can get a triple threat match to be i think i think uh having three different opportunities to steal points in the second round really really changed the landscape obviously evan did really well in the first mm -hmm. round i believe he only missed uh one question i think in that first round maybe two questions I think um, he but two. Yeah, but he did really well. He came out swinging, and uh, it was a damn good effort on all ends. Max Cianci, what about you? What's going on in your life? Uh, what, what do you got? What do you got to tell the people out there? Not much. Uh, you know, I I don't have much to promote besides uh, myself. But uh, back in Pittsburgh, ready to party, ready to hang out, ready to quarantine for another four months, probably. So uh, probably a lot of new content coming out, and I think we should do uh, Chase and Max. Max. I, I mispronounced my own name. Chase and Max keep talking very soon because that's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to hop on there on the ones and twos and you and me talk some things out. Uh, you're back in Pittsburgh, like you said, so I'm sure um, there's going to be plenty of good stuff coming out of the woodwork from Max Cianci. Make sure you're following Max on all the social medias. Max, are you on uh, Are you on YouTube or Vimeo or any of those Spank I'm Bank on, or any of those good websites? I'm on all of it and all over it. So, yes, Very please good. follow me. I need the clout. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll put the descriptions for that down in the link. So make sure you're uh, looking for that. Make sure you're clicking onto that. Make sure you're going to uh, everybody who helped us out today and, and giving them love and, and giving them thanks for coming up and entertaining us and all this good stuff. We have a great group of people here on the Cheap Seats Network, whether they're on the desk today like Max or competing like Max uh, does, or uh, Evan, who's usually here with me, does our other shows, or any of the competitors out there, join us and do these great things with us today. It's much appreciated on my end. So make sure you guys are giving them the same energy, giving them some love, and telling these people how much you appreciate them being here. Go ahead and follow them. Go ahead and subscribe to them. Go ahead and tell them how much you love them. That's all you can do. Thanks for having me, Chase. This was a lot of fun. Absolutely, Max, and thank you for being here on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia today. And you guys out there, make sure you check back and see what other content we've got going up. But as always, if you're looking for somewhere to somewhere to somewhere to go, join us somewhere to the cheap seats. There's plenty of somewhere to cheap seats. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to answer two questions. Who am I and what are my intentions? Well, ladies and gentlemen of the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia League, my name is the Cosmic Night Fury, Nico Suave Rigoli. I am the current TMG Entertainment The Choke Slam Wrestling Debate Champion. I am the 2019 Multiplex Entertainment Fandom Fights Teams Summer Series Tournament co winner. I am a two time challenger to the Combat Wrestling Trivia undisputed world heavyweight championship much like your commissioner chase brown i am a citizen of western pennsylvania much like your beloved competitor evan bogman i am a penn state alum a penn state graduate and yet none of those accolades none of those affiliations none of those relations have helped me get a match i have been waiting since the summer i had a match on the books my opponent dropped out no shame in that this isn't for everyone I understand that I also understand that we all have lives that we need to attend to and sometimes other things get bogged down as a result of those lives we live but eventually a man or woman will reach their breaking point they will reach the moment where they have run out of patience and chase I am sad to say that I have reached my limit of patience I want to do business with you. I want to do business with the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. So please, let's sit down, let's have a conversation, and let's see how we can help each other.